Hi guys, I just got a question on Telegram about Da Vinci Studio, something about music. You need to download for it and have to pay for it and all that. And the question is actually, can we install certain software on Arch Linux or on Arch Linux? They, they don't think about Arch Linux, right? They see, they're sitting in a box and say, is it possible to install on Arch Linux? But that's Arch Linux, right? It's, it's only three or four, five percent. That's Arch, um, Arco and all the rest is Arch plus AOR. So installing software, Arch Linux, that's of course our websites, Arch Linux software center install, something like that. How to install software and Arch Linux in the terminal. That's one of the things, how to install packages, three way to script. So guys, use what's there, right? Use already all the videos and information that we have on the websites, on YouTube. And what I'll, I'll add here in this particular video is that there are two major applications on your system already, if you have Excel, right? There is PAMEC. PAMEC is great. Have a look around, decide what software do you need for music, for productivity. There is so much out there, right? You choose. The other thing is that is something called GNOME software. I've left it on the Excel, right? You could discuss why it's still there because you have already PAMEC. But this gives you another view, certainly for Nixel, it's interesting because we sent you the first visitor, the first time ever on Arclix, we tell you take the XL because you don't know any applications yet. Well, we are assuming that you're coming from Windows or from Mac or something. How would you know what applications are interesting on a Linux environment? So this, these two guys give you a great overview, but of course, people come here with their own application. And the, the question was this, this um, studio application, can we use it? Can we, uh, can, can it work on Arcolinux, right? Because it, it's all the same thing in my eyes anyway, right? It's all Arcolinux based. So anything, these packages, if they're on the AUR, they can be installed anywhere on anything Arcolinux based. So the question was this Da Vinci thing. You, you can look it up, Da Vinci Resolve. I think it's one of the names. Control T, it should be a reflex. Can I install this on Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Endeavor OS, Garuda, Archcraft, you name it, right? Arch stuff. First thing is either yay or Paru, doesn't matter. It's all the same. It's an AOR helper, tries it in another guy, right? And you ask, Da Vinci in this case, is there anything? And yes, there is. So the AOR has it available. And then there's one step more you should have. Am I gonna build it? Because it doesn't say Arconix repo. I know how big this file is. And that's the reason why it's not on the Arconix repo. What do people forget? Control C, super Q, little key bindings. If you're on a tiling window manager, that makes sense. What I do is Control Alt E, and E stands for the tweak tool. We are going to launch Arsenic's tweak tool. And not only do we have already very easily a few of these repos available, well, of course, you can add even more. If you like to add custom repos, click, 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 done. But this one is the Celtix repo. And you'll be amazed to see how much is on there. So the repositories from the Celtic AOR is huge. Take a look at this slider, very big indeed. And we scroll down and it becomes quite small. And I keep scrolling and I keep scrolling and I keep scrolling, right? You got the message. We're all, all just in the middle, right? The K. So there is still a lot to go till we add Z. Now you can search it here. But like, well, maybe you've seen in the videos, I'm the guy that says Ctrl T, yay, Da Vinci. And then of course you have to get the updates in, you have to get the database in of chaotic AOR. 
So update is probably one of the best things to type. So all the new databases come in. So we have this line, 2.3 megabyte, right? Look at it. All the rest is in kilobytes. This guy is 2.3 megabytes. So there's a lot of software on the Keltix AOR. And there you go, DaVinci Resolve. 3.2 gigabytes, right? That's the size of this thing. <laughs> so and I knew there was a good reason why we don't have it on the repo. It's there, right? Thank God for the repo of Garuda. That's a chaotic AOR. So all you need to do is sudo pacman minus s. There is no need to build anything from the AOR. Have the reflex. First of all, does Arc Linux have it? Great. Is it not an Arc Linux? You need to build it. Maybe I don't need to build it. Maybe it's on the chaotic AOR. So activate it with Ctrl Alt E tweak tool. Et voila. That's the message I want to give. Think about the repos that we we give you, right? And if you wanna maybe you're now curious, right? You say, oh what's all that? So go to PAMAC, have a look and scroll through it. Just filling your hours away. What is on there, right? Disturb box, there are names on there I've never heard about. There are also Endeavor stuff on there, as you have seen there, right? Firefox stuff, flat remix. So icons, fonts are here. Where's the G thing? <laughs> Geekbox bench is there. We're now at the L and it, it keeps on going, right? It keeps on scrolling. It just needs to load again and you can keep on scrolling. So be my guest, but don't forget it, right? Celtics repo, right? Next time I'll remember. Cheers.